looking for some great stretches to help get rid of your shoulder pain. I'm Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. And today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite shoulder stretches so you can finally get lasting relief and eliminate pain for good. First of all, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain without drugs and surgery and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. Just click on the red subscribe button below or click on my channel page to see more videos. When your shoulders are hurting, you feel like your whole body is affected. The pain radiates up into the neck and down into the upper back, sometimes even into the lower back. Uh, the last thing you may want to do is move, but I can assure you that movement is going to make you feel much, much better. Um, and I also want you to know that you're not alone. I'm here to guide you through um, a few of my favorite stretches and you can and yes, you will get better. Whether you just have occasional tightness and soreness or you have full-blown pain, the underlying cause is a muscular imbalance. Certain muscles in your shoulder girdle are overworking and that creates too much tightness in your body. Um, it will also limit your joints from being able to move in their full range. Um, not only the shoulder joints, but your cervical spine and your thoracic spine as well, which uh, leads to even more discomfort and more pain because of that tightness and that limitation. I have been successfully helping people reduce shoulder pain for over 15 years now. And the problem is more complex than just doing some simple stretches. So today I'm going to guide you through some of my favorite exercises. And I will also point out some of the common mistakes that people often make when um, they exercise or when they try to uh, get rid of shoulder uh, tightness. Also, I have a really simple solution for you at the end of my video that will keep you pain free for the rest of your life. So be sure that you stay with me. Um, one of the most common reasons why people have shoulder pain and upper back and neck tightness is because of a forward rounded position. So if you, you're often on your electric devices, laptop, iPad, computer, then your shoulders will roll forward. Um, that rounded position, if your body gets used to it, becomes permanent. So if you don't do something about it, aka stretching, then your body will stay that way. So in these videos, we are going to make sure that we are exercising with a good posture, but you also have to watch yourself in daily life. Um, as I mentioned before, the excessive muscle tightness in the shoulder girdle uh, will also create a limited range of motion in the joints. So you won't be able to raise your arms so high anymore. Um, you won't be able to rotate your thoracic spine, your upper body side to side. So in these videos, we are going to address that problem as well. So your shoulder stretches will be much more effective. Um, first of all, um, lay down on your back and just simply put your hands behind your head. No need to interlace the hands, just support your head with your hands. And then bring your elbows up towards the ceiling and open your elbows, flatten them out on your mat. Raise the elbows as if you were framing your head. And then lower the elbows, try and relax the shoulder joint and the top of the shoulders as you do that. Let's do this a few more times just to get some good initial mobility in the shoulder girdle. This is going to be the last one. Then stay on your back and open your elbows up to the side. Then slowly, almost inch by inch, Bring your elbows towards your side body and you can slide them back up and let's go even higher over the head until the fingertips touch. 
Mm. Then bring your elbows down again, just slowly work your way as close to the rib cage as you can. If you can't go all the way, no problem, just mm, slowly build up your tissue tolerance and your mobility and your flexibility. Let's do this a couple more times. Make sure that you're not arching the lower back as you do that, which is an often seen compensation in shoulder stretches, mobility exercises. So just try and keep a small curvature in your lower back. Then lay down on your side, fold up your arm under your head and place the other hand on the side of your head or behind the head and then slowly roll onto your upper back. Try and bring both of your shoulder blades onto the mat behind you. And that is a really nice way to mobilize your thoracic spine, which as I mentioned before, if your thoracic spine is stiff, it has a lot to do with how your shoulders are feeling. So, Make sure that you always include this exercise in your shoulder stretches. When you get really good at this one, you can progress this, straighten that arm out and imagine drawing a full circle with your arm now. Bring it around, over the head, behind your body, roll onto your upper back and back by your side. This is again a really nice way, not, even, not only to mobilize and stretch your shoulder and the front of the chest, but also mm, to get better mobility in your upper back, where you're most likely really tired. Um, the last exercise in this um, video is you're going to put your hands behind you and just sit up as tall as you can. You can even scoot your tail a little bit forward away from your hands. Now, be sure not to collapse into the shoulders because you know how important it is to have good upper back posture for shoulder health and shoulder mobility. So be sure that you're able to straighten your upper back. If your head is forward, pull it in on top of your body and just press the chest out as much as you can so you feel a nice stretch in your pectoral muscles and also in your arms. And just hold this stretch, and then walk your hands a little bit apart, turn the fingers out and repeat this stretch, pushing the chest forward, opening up the chest wall. Make sure that you do these exercises at least once a day. Um, the one-sided exercises, obviously make sure that you do them on both sides. If you enjoyed these exercises and you would like a complete program uh, that guides you through a full body stretch, please visit my website at www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and click on the shop tab. Uh, scroll down until you find my stretching and mobility program and that is a wonderful program that will guide you through a full body stretch and if you do those stretches regularly you can make sure that your body is not going to hurt from muscle tightness ever again. Um, if you would like to get more personalized attention uh, you can schedule a phone consultation with me through my website www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and we can work together e either in person or online and while you're on my website make sure that you sign up for my weekly newsletter because you will receive uh, video updates and also uh, promotions on my online programs for more great video tips on how to eliminate chronic pain without the use of drugs and surgeries, um, please visit my playlists on my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today.